I think the UVA neurosurgery program is an incredibly special place. It really provides a combination of the uh, cutting edge uh, training for our residents, a uh, highly advanced uh, program for learning as far as curriculum goes. And I think we provide the environment both in the, in the laboratory and with our academic years. We continue to uh, give residents early operative experience so that they are finishing very competent neurosurgeons who are inspired at the end of their training to go on to great careers, but also to go on with the ideal of training the next, next generation. My father was recruited in 1969, and when he was thinking of, well, what am I gonna to do to build a department? In his mind, he said, well, actually what I'm gonna be trying to do is to build the greatest residency training program in the world. I think we have some very unique um, aspects to our training program. We have one of the best didactic and lab curricula, I think, that exists in neurosurgical training. What really solidified for me, though, was coming here uh, during my interview uh, and uh, sitting in the Jane conference room and uh, uh, part of these Saturday anatomy talks and uh, looking up at the wall of all the alumni uh, that have been through here. And uh, a lot of them uh, are still here at UVA and then uh, others uh, I recognize from uh, all over the country, um, leading departments and uh, being uh, iconic figures in, in neurosurgery and really defining the field. And, um, so really get the sense that uh, coming here, you're going to stand on the shoulder of giants and uh, really solidify your career. I chose UVA neurosurgery for um, a variety of reasons. I think what I was looking for was the best combination of clinical and academic training one could get. And um, I thought this was the perfect program for that. The variety of clinical cases and volume of those cases is excellent here. and. Um, the emphasis on training academic neurosurgeons is something that really appealed to me. And so I thought this would be the perfect uh, place to train to become an academic neurosurgeon. You do enter into a large extended family and uh, you're treated as family here. We have a very strong resident core. Um, we have a strong history of academics as well as uh, uh, you know, training the future academic leaders in neurosurgery and making sure that we develop not just the clinical training and the surgical skills, but also uh, maximize their academic potential and, and serve as mentors and as they uh, prepare for the next steps of their career. Another thing that I find very unique about this program is that as soon as you walk in the door, you really feel like you're part of history and part of family. And Dr. Shaffrey and Dr. Jane really set the tone for the program. And we always have get-togethers where all the faculty, residents, um, see each other outside of work so that at work we really know how to work well together and um, feels like a family both in the hospital and outside of the hospital. I mean it's almost a, a prerequisite for being a faculty member at UVA is placing the residency program in, in your priority list very high. No day is also the same here. It's, so much, it's such a wide variety of pathology and really some of the more uh, nuanced and technical cases uh, that, that come to UVA um, being this tertiary referral center. Um, and so one day you'll be doing a complex spinal deformity case, the next day you can be doing a skull-based tumor. Um, and your involvement, uh, it just, it grows uh, by every case and the attendings are well aware of your skills and, and so are the chiefs. Uh, and that adds to your education and how you grow. I think that intern year at uh, UVA um, is challenging, but uh, like anything that's challenging, it's ultimately very rewarding uh, because you, you learn so much um, and you become very connected uh, with other services throughout the hospital. I know that uh, this year, I, I think my ear is a lot easier because of the relationships that I fostered uh, as an intern. I think it's an extremely unique program in the way that it's structured. It, it's very balanced curriculum. And as an intern, you get to spend time in the ICU and time on the floor and learn how to be a physician, first of all. And then you have dedicated time in the OR, which I didn't see in any other program to this extent, where you're scheduled into cases and there's thought that goes into interns getting a variety of cases that they get to experience and be involved in. In terms of research, it's been um, unique in that um, you know, there's just a whole host of opportunities 
uh, and, and different things that you can accomplish. You really, if you have an idea, they'll, um, they'll be able to find a way to make it work. I'm one of the chief residents this year at the Department of Neurosurgery, and what that largely entails for us is uh, getting into a transition to practice. And so in that capacity, what we do is we oversee all of the residents and make sure the treatment plans for anything are, are happening before they're ever presented to an attending. And so we really get to be in charge of what's happening with any consultant uh, sort of patient. In addition to that, we get to pick what the operative cases are we're going to do. So if we have an avid interest in brain tumors, we get to pick brain tumors or spine surgery or pediatrics. And so your uh, interests and the things you really need to be prepared for in the next year or two are kind of put at the priority of the program. The way that we work it at the University of Virginia is the associate program directors have um, sort of areas of emphasis. Uh, among mine um, is, is really directing the anatomy training program. So for residents, I provide four hours of education at least once a month in going through microdissection labs and teaching and trying to make sure that you know, they're becoming experts in anatomy outside of the operating room. I think UVA really offers a, a, a wonderful opportunity for residents to train and research. Uh, it's, a, it's a chance to become a neurosurgeon scientist. And even for people that aren't interested in a career of, of research, it gives you the opportunity to really uh, become a critical reviewer of the uh, clinical material that you're going to encounter. We are a major spine deformity treatment center. So we are actually involving in a lot of research projects in terms of the management of spin spinal deformity patients. We also have a state-of-art anatomy lab very close to our department. The Gamma Knife program here began in 1989 under the auspices of Laszlo Steiner. I happened to work with him for more than a decade before I took over the program. The Gamma Knife Center was the second in the country and the fifth in the world. It's one of the oldest radiosurgical programs and has helped to lead a number of major clinical trials. Here at UVA, we've, we've had a long track record history with focused ultrasound. It's a, a new modality for neurosurgeons. I think it's gonna become pretty common uh, from place to place. We did some of the earliest clinical trials here in 2011, and then we've gone on to really develop a, a, a very active and innovative clinical program where we study the use of focused ultrasound technology for a lot of disorders. The residents are a key component of these practices. What makes the cerebrovascular and endovascular uh, neurosurgery program strong at the University of Virginia, uh, we have a, a very uh, large case volume, uh, not just in terms of the breadth of the cases, but the depth of the, of the cases. We, we deal with uh, high complexity lesions, uh, oftentimes referred from our uh, colleagues within the community, and uh, we draw from a large referral base uh, within uh, Central Virginia and the Mid-Atlantic region. The neuro-oncology program um, is, is very well established and nationally recognized program. Of the over 3,000 surgeries that are done here in the neurosurgery department every year, about 900 of them are focused on brain tumors and spinal cord tumors. And so we have a wide breadth of, of types of surgeries that we're doing, varying from malignant pathology to benign skull-based tumors and spinal cord tumors and even peripheral nerve tumors. This anterior skull-based program that we have here, I think will ready trainees um, really at a fellowship level by the time they're done with residency. UVA has been one of the major centers treating the spine deformity patients. We deal with very complex spine deformity patients all the time. And for the past couple of years, we also, we also introduced new technologies such as minimally invasive surgery, navigation, image-guided surgery, as well as robotic assistive surgery. Picking that subspecialty and having the opportunity to pursue that, not just for clinical experience, but research and future uh, mentorship is really critical. And I believe that the University of Virginia offers all major training in neurosurgical subspecialties. As um, editor of the Journal of Neuro-Oncology, and also as, as chair of the, the AANS CNS tumor section, I remain firmly committed to helping residents pursue clinical and academic excellence in radiosurgery and brain tumors while they're here at the University of Virginia and after they've finished. 
The clinical aspects that are unique is our year in New Zealand. So our residents all spend uh, one year uh, as senior residents in either Auckland or Christchurch, where they work with truly world-class neurosurgeons. Most of the programs in this country, no matter where you go, you'll get good operative training. But I, I think that um, you know New Zealand kind of really pushes UVA um, kind of above others um, as something that's you know, truly unique about uh, the UVA program. Since the early 2000s, we've gone to New Zealand, uh, principally Auckland, New Zealand, and Christchurch where the international system is kind of what the UK and Commonwealth systems are. So you assume the role of what's called a senior registrar, and in that capacity, you become the patient's primary surgeon. You are given these complex, terrific cases that everybody in the world would love to do. Hey there, I'm Cheyenne. I'm Saul. So we're six-year residents from UVA, and we're spending one year of our training here in Auckland, New Zealand. The focus of this year is cranial neurosurgery. We do a variety of tumor, vascular, and trauma cases. Overall, it's been an excellent experience. Uh, we're quite busy. We have a catchment area, including over 2 million people spending much of the North Island. Um, a lot of our time is in the operating room. We spent some time in clinic on the ward as well, and all of this time is well worth it for the experience that we're getting. We usually get two or three weekends off a month and up to six weeks of vacation. So during that time, we get to uh, enjoy this beautiful country. Uh, there's a lot of places to see and things to do in the North Island and in the South Island. We just went to Queenstown for a weekend and enjoyed uh, some skiing and hiking out there. So this really is the highlight of our program. We're both loving this experience. Let us know if you have any questions and we're hoping to meet you soon. My advice to um, medical students that are applying to residency programs would be to really have an open mind and you may think you know what you want to subspecialize in or what type of neurosurgeon you want to be in terms of research-based or clinical-based, but that may change. It's a long seven years and so you really want to go to a program where you could do anything you want and all those opportunities are there and that's not the case everywhere. Um, UVA is very unique in that as well that there are all types of specialties are represented well here and you get training in all of those subspecialties and as well as research opportunities. So you can really figure out what you are passionate about, what you want to excel in, and the resources are provided here throughout the whole seven years to set you up for the type of career that you want. To see a resident go from a novice surgeon and clinician at the beginning of their training to their final seventh year where they are truly prepared to pursue the exact life they wanted to pursue is one of the greatest joys of being a program director.